Hi, boys and girls. This week, we are looking at The Gingerbread Man. And this is just one of the many books that we have about The Gingerbread Man. And rather than me reading it to you today, I'm going to show you a video where the book is read for you. And I want you to listen very, very carefully. And then I'll ask you some questions afterwards, okay? All right, let me get this set up. Once upon a time, a little old woman and a little old man lived in a cottage near a, near a river. One morning, the little old woman decided to bake a gingerbread man as a little afternoon treat. As she rolled out the dough, she cut it into the shape of a little man. She used icing to give him eyes and a smile, gumdrops for buttons and a cherry for a nose. She then put him in the oven to bake. A few minutes later, the little old woman checked to see if he was cooked. As soon as she opened the door, the gingerbread man jumped out of the oven and ran through the open kitchen door. Don't eat me, he shouted. The little old woman was very surprised, but she was also very hungry. So she called to her husband and they both ran out the front door and after the gingerbread man. Stop! They yelled. Please stop! But the gingerbread man did not look back. He kept running down the lane and into the woods as he sang. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. As he entered the woods, the gingerbread man came across a pig. Stop, I would very much like to eat you. <laughs> the gingerbread man did not stop. Instead, he ran right past the pig. I've outrun a little old woman and a little old man. And I can outrun you too. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. It was not long before the gingerbread man saw a cow grazing at the edge of the woods. Stop, little man. I'm very hungry. But the gingerbread man was just too fast for the cow. I've outrun a little old woman and a little old man and a big fat pig. And I can outrun you. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The cow decided to chase the gingerbread man too, right behind the pig and the little old man and the little old woman but the gingerbread man was just too fast. A little further on, the gingerbread man came upon a horse. Stop running, I want to eat you. But the gingerbread man did not stop. <laughs> I've outrun a little old woman, a little old man, a big fat pig, and a lazy cow, and I'll outrun you too. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Of course, the horse did not like being taunted, so he too chased the gingerbread man behind the cow, the pig, the little old man, and the little old woman. But still, the gingerbread man ran even faster. Soon he came to a rushing river. Oh no, if I get wet, I'll melt. But if I don't, they'll catch me. What do I do? Just then, a sneaky fox appeared and said, I can help you across the river. Climb onto my back and I'll swim across. The gingerbread man did not trust the fox. Do you promise you won't eat me? Of course I won't eat you. I just want to help you. The gingerbread man decided that trusting the fox was better than being caught by the horse, the cow, the pig, and the little old man and the little old woman. So he climbed up onto the fox's back, and together they swam across the river. They were about halfway there when the fox said, I'm getting tired. You should climb up onto my head. So the gingerbread man did. They were about three quarters of the way there when the fox said, I'm getting tired again. You should climb onto my nose. So the gingerbread man did. They reached the other side of the river. And before the gingerbread man could climb down, the fox flicked his nose and tossed the gingerbread man high into the air. He opened his mouth as wide as he could and chopped. 
the end of the gingerbread man. The end. talk about this book. First of all, who lived in a house near the river? A little old woman and a little old man. And what did the little old woman decide to do one day? That's right, she was going to make a gingerbread cookie, wasn't she? And how did she decorate it? Oh, did she use icing? She made the eyes out of icing and the mouth out of icing. Icing, excuse me. And then she gave the gingerbread man a nose. And what was the nose made out of? That's right, a cherry. And then the gingerbread man had some buttons made out of gumdrops, I know. And then she put it in the oven. And what happened when she went to check to see if the cookie was finished and she opened the oven? <gasps> That's right, the gingerbread cookie jumped out and started running and said, you, Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread. That's right, gingerbread man. Oh, and then what did the little old woman do? She did, she chased after the cookie. And what did the little old man do? Oh, he chased after the cookie too. And then as the cookie was running, he came to an animal that oinks. What animal was that? That's right, a pig. And the pig wanted to eat the gingerbread man too, but the gingerbread kept running and saying, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And then the gingerbread man came um, to an animal that moves. What animal is that? That's right, the cow. What the cow want to do? I know, eat the gingerbread cookie. The gingerbread cookie kept running and saying, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I know. And then the cookie came to an animal that neighs. Do you know what an animal neighs? A horse. And what did the horse want to do? I know, it wanted to eat the gingerbread cookie too. Uh, and so the gingerbread cookie kept running saying, run, run as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread. I know. And then the gingerbread man came to the river. And what did the gingerbread man have to do? What would happen if the gingerbread man stepped into the river? I know, he would melt. And what animal happened to be near the river? A fox. And what did the fox say for the gingerbread man to do? Jump on his back. I know. And the fox started across and then said he was getting tired and told the gingerbread man to jump on his head. I know. And the gingerbread man did. And then the fox said he was getting more tired and said, go ahead and jump on my nose. And then when he got to the other side of the river, what did the fox do? I know he ate the gingerbread man. Oh my goodness. Was that a good ending to the story? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure I like that ending, but I guess that's what you do with cookies. You eat them, don't you? Okay. So we have a song that we could sing about that story and it goes like this. Run, run as fast as you can. Run, run as fast as you can. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And when we do run, we can do this. All right, so sing that with me. Run, run as fast as you can. Run, run as fast as you can. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And then we know who followed the gingerbread man. Oh, an old woman. Okay, I ran from the woman, yes I did. I ran from the woman, yes I did. I ran from the woman, yes I did, because I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, who followed the woman? Oh, the old man. I ran from the man, yes I did. I ran from the man, yes I did. I ran from the man, yes I did. I'm the gingerbread man. And then, what animal was, was next? It's one that oinks. All right. So let's sing I ran from the pig. I ran from the pig, yes I did. I ran from the pig, yes I did. I ran from the pig, yes I did, because I'm the gingerbread man. And then what animal moves? I ran from the cow, yes I did. I ran from the cow, yes I did. I ran from the cow, yes I did, because I'm the gingerbread man. And then what animal? The one that neighs. I ran from the horse, yes I did. I ran from the horse, yes I did. I ran from the horse. Yes, I did, because I'm the gingerbread man. And then, 
I ran from everyone, yes I did. I ran from everyone, yes I did. I ran from everyone, yes I did. But I couldn't run from the, the fox. And then we go like this, chomp, because the fox ate it. You want to sing that verse again? I ran from everyone, yes I did. I ran from everyone, yes I did. I ran from everyone, yes I did. But I couldn't run from the fox, chomp. <laughs> Poor gingerbread man. All right, then we have a little poem, and this sucker's going to stand up. You may need to stand up too. But it goes like this, gingerbread, gingerbread, reach up high. So you have to reach up really high. See if you can touch the sky. Gingerbread, gingerbread, ready to go. See if you can crouch down low. You have to go low. Gingerbread, gingerbread, oh so sweet. Take a bow and have a seat. So now you have to sit back down. Gingerbread, gingerbread in a crowd. Clap your hands very loud. Gingerbread, gingerbread, quietly clap. Now fold your hands in your lap. Very good. Isn't it fun to learn about the gingerbread man? And every day this week, there will be a different gingerbread man story. Okay? All right. Bye, boys and girls.